Yeah, yeah. 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 Aww. Aww, but, no. And they're the nuns who, this hospital has got, yeah. what, what year is it? Five? The year five billion and twenty-three. Oh, so quite a way in the future. Sure, sure. But they're still dirty hospitals. Oh, no, it's a very clean, clean hospital. But there's stuff behind the walls. Well, there might be something going on underneath, yeah. See, I, I, the thing I, that's, that's great, sitting here talking, I know that there's a lot of Whovian fans out there who are sitting watching to try and get any little piece of information well, about you episodes and what's coming up. And I'm trying to give it to you, yeah. folks. I'm but trying to give it to you, but you won't give. It's only days away now. You don't have to wait any longer. We're there. I saw some things that popped up. Uh, for instance, uh, Captain Jack used psychic paper to con the doctor when he first... Uh, came and sure. psychic paper had popped up in that the scene. psychic paper is so back. are there any new anything you can talk about new gadgets that are coming what new gadgets do we have like he's going to tell the me stuff that, the, well the stuff that we make you know specific to to situations i don't think we've got any new kind of running gadgets i've probably forgotten something totally is fundamental it true about. I don't think or do. untrue that k9 makes an appearance k9 week three episode three k9 Fantastic. is back k9 and, and sarah jane smith Oh. Uh, who, of course, was Elizabeth Sladen, who yes. was brilliant back in the 70s. So Sarah Jane comes back, and of course... Is it it's still it's, Elizabeth Sladen? It's still Elizabeth Sladen. Somebody, somebody told me, I mean, uh, the insider, someone said to me that filming that scene, you found it kind of surreal, as did she, because all, you, you, you were looking at someone you watched as, yeah. as, as a child, and then all of a sudden, but you have to get the relationship, the doctor seeing her many years later. Uh, w w and in a way, that was, that was sort of easy to play, because I remember her, mid-70s was when I started watching the show, I'm 34, so that was kind of my time. So suddenly, there's Sarah Jane, who, who I have all these kind of very affectionate memories from. Oh. Uh, so you could kind of plug that into the doctor's psychology. And that really. doctor was Tom Baker. That was Tom Baker, yeah, yeah, which is when I started watching it. Do you know, I did an interview with Tom Baker once years ago. He read a book through the entire interview. I was that interesting. <laughs> so thank you. The, the, the another doctor who hasn't done that. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a was, magazine just on. He was, <laughs> he was a masterful Doctor Who, but yeah. the brilliance about it is that the constant regeneration means that every fresh actor can put what he wants into it. Mm. Well, it's, there's nothing kind of wrong. Yeah, the, the Doctor can kind of be who, whatever you want him to be. It's not like Tarzan or Sherlock Holmes or one of these parts where, where you're kind of reinventing the wheel. Or James Bond. Or James Bond, yeah. yeah. It's a tough one. Yeah, But Doctor Who's tough. not so tough in yeah, that sense. It's, sort of, it, it's kind of up to you to, to, to be a bit different, actually, yes. and bring about yourself to it. Yeah, one these, one oh. thing that does happen with it, you get figures made of you. You do. And, uh, David, there's a couple here. I, yeah. they, just, they did the photography for my figure a couple of weeks ago. The Captain Jack the figure Captain is Jack imminent. Figure. But I think these are absolutely fantastic. Okay, don't they? Yeah. You've got a couple of the Doctor. One in your well, long Well, I spend uh, sort of as much time out of the coat as in it, so I think they figured they had to do it twice. And, yeah. and one in your pinstrap suit. And the, these are the Sycorax? Is that Sycorax. Sycorax, and this was from the, the Christmas invasion. Yes. So this was yes. the, your first en enemy, really. It was, yeah. yeah. We've got Slithen. 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 Sli Oh, I haven't got my glasses no. on. Slithine, sorry. Slithine. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And, and there's Cassandra. We love Cassandra. She's, she's there on Saturday night, yeah. Now, is there a chance that we're going to see Cassandra as she was before this skin stretch? Well, you certainly see, as you saw in the clip, Cassandra's back looking like that. Yeah. But we might also have a little bit of a bit of a time jump. We might get to see Cassandra in the full embodiment of Zoe Wanamaker, not just her All right. Going yeah. back. Yeah, yeah. And the episode two, you go back to... Episode two, we go back to 1879. And we encounter Queen Victoria on her way to Balmoral. Um, and uh, there's a, a story with a, a quite extraordinary werewolf that the, the, the guys, the, the incredible guys at the mill who do all our CGI Fantastic. work, have created this extraordinary werewolf. Yeah. And Doctor Who's never had a werewolf before. No. Which nope. really, it's bef but not before time. Uh, well, werewolves were around the 19th century, weren't they? Exactly. Yes, That's kind of you know. where they live. But also, yeah. you can use your real accent for a change. Exactly. Yeah, he goes back to Scotland, so he, he fits in with the natives. Okay. And Rose has a go-to, but her accent isn't quite so successful. <laughs> 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 but we, 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 won't, we won't mark Billy for that one. No, 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 no. How is Billy? I know she wasn't very well today. Well, I was, been we, we finished filming about a week and a half ago, and I immediately go ill, um, as you do when you've yes. been working for nine months, and you've managed to get through it without a yes. sniffle, so suddenly your body collapses. You get bugs and... And we had, I had this whole gastric thing. We don't need the details. Oh, uh, no. But, uh, well, so maybe for later, because like... we have a bit later about, <laughs> you know, bowel cancer, so we might be able to really? work that in, yes. Yeah, well, yes. it was... No, I just was... I lost about 15 stone in a night. It was a bit like... Did I you? felt like I was in tank. I'd like um, that, but... <laughs> <laughs> but I, unfortunately, I got better, and I seem to have given it to Bill. She wanted to be here today. Yes. Yeah. So uh, she sends everyone her love, and well, uh, I think she's at love. home. There she is. There she there is. She the is. Girl. Lovely she Billy. She promises she's at home watching us. Now, so. what Hi, about Bill. Snogs with her? I mean, we've, we've had one, I think, haven't we? There is a bit of a kiss on Saturday night. Yeah. On Saturday night. Yeah. But yeah. there's not going to be Doctor Who can't have a wife. 
can't have a live-in lover. It's not kind of his thing, is it? No. I mean, the, the relationship with the Doctor and his companion is always, it's always everything but sex, I think. And I think we've got to preserve that. But, but yeah, they're kissing on Saturday night, so you'll, you know, well, tune it, in to it, find it, out if why. If he did, when Captain Jack came back in uh, Series 3, he would put up a good fight to yes, <laughs> pull whoever was there away. I think that I would think be quite fun. I think for my sons, the, yeah. the kissing will be more scary than anything else. <laughs> <laughs> uh, a quick fight. David, uh, has, did you know you were voted Pink Paper's sexiest man in the universe. Yes, I did. Not the world, I the know, universe. I know. And according to this, Quite also, it it, uh, it uh, says that Sophia Miles, uh, your, your girlfriend, she said that um, she would carry a doll of you in her handbag. Oh. So does she have one in her handbag? You have to ask her. <laughs> Bless her. Not yet. Listen, we'll be glued Saturday night. Thank you very much, David. Lovely to meet you. Oh, it's a pleasure to be here. Doctor Who is back. Now, how do you?